Welcome to this radio channel, and we are Tuesday, March 12th, 2019. And uh, let's take a look at solar activity and possible propagation for the week. So in the solar activity, uh, we had a sunspot that's now pretty much disappeared from the surface. Almost. So even though sunspot number is still at uh, 11, we um, it's, it's decaying and it's um, it, it released... Um, some uh, C flare, which is a very, very small flare. And a lot of people are asking, oh, is that the uptick in solar activity? No, it's not. It's one of those random sunspots that appear when we are in the, um, you know, um, phase of low solar activity. Solar minimum does have sunspots that appear from time to time. It's just that they're not uh, there very often. So a C flare is a small flare. It doesn't have a lot of impact. It could have attenuated some of the signals on the daytime side of Earth, when it erupted a little bit, but uh, you know they are really small. Uh, they're actually huge when you think about the scale of what they are compared to Earth, but they are actually quite small when we know how, how powerful flares could be on the Sun. The um, propagation was amazing yesterday. I uh, tested out the um, XH data D808 and the Radio Wow R108 and uh, enjoyed an amazingly good evening of radio propagation listening to different signals with a fairly good signal and uh, was very very interesting so we'll be uh, of course continuing the uh, testing out of these receivers so uh, videos coming up of course a lot of you kind of excited they want to know hey what do you think of these radios so um, I, I'm starting already to have a pretty strong opinion and and of course we'll have the reviews and all of that um, I hope to start posting today also the reviews of the RSP1A, uh, which is more complex of a review because it's very interesting device, and I, I want to make sure that everybody understands what it is and, and how well it works and, and what its flaws are. So I'm taking a lot of notes to do these reviews uh, that will be very, very complete. As for the solar conditions, well, we should have an, an okay week. I mean, if we look at what is happening is this coronal hole is there centered so there will be some solar wind gusts that's pretty much what's been the story for the past weeks and uh, this uh, of course means that there will be some um, moments where propagation can degrade a little bit if the um, solar wind is capable of producing some minor storming but for now things are rather quiet actually and so let's uh, you know cross our fingers that it's going to continue like that uh, there was a a um, talk about the uh, CMEs are the coronal mass ejections from the uh, C flare uh, last week that could hit hurt, but nothing has really been working out. So um, I guess either it missed Earth, or if it didn't miss Earth, it um, wasn't strong enough to really uh, do anything, or it's just very slow in arrival. But uh, consider propagation to be probably very good this week. I would I would think that propagation will be uh, quite good, and um, I think it's going to be a uh, interesting radio weekend. I'll I'll be posting a lot of videos with my new radio, so of course we'll be checking that out. Including you know we're going to have some nice weather here this week. I'm hoping to maybe do a few videos from uh, outside actually, using the uh, new receivers and checking out the different band conditions. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.